All right, gang, welcome back. In this video, what we're going to do is talk a little bit more about work, but specifically, we're going to talk about um, making calculations involving work. So some of the big ideas that we're going to go over in this video is we're going to go over that concept of work that we've talked about before, get into the equation of work equaling force times distance, talk about the units that we use for work, force, and distance, just to make sure that we're doing the equations right, and then we're gonna practice with three of those uh, sample problems. So just as a quick review, we've talked a lot about work. We've gone over this idea that the scientific definition of work is a lot different from how we normally use that. So when we're talking about work in a scientific sense, what we mean is that it's when you've add, uh, applied a force to something and that force causes that something to move. Uh, so let's get into the, the equation. So when we're calculating work, what we do is we take the force that's been applied to that object and multiply it by the distance that object moves. So let's, let's kind of make sure that we understand the units that we're using when we make those calculations. So first of all, when we're talking about force, remember we just got done talking about Newton's laws, and a force is a push or a pull. Now when we measure that, we're gonna measure it in Newtons. Um, but remember, sometimes I might give you the, in, in the equation, I might say, well, the force is this many Newtons. Sometimes I might not. What you have to remember in those cases is that we've talked about Newton's second law of motion, where the net force that's acting on an object, we can calculate that by taking its mass in kilograms and multiplying it by its acceleration. So you should be able to, to find it either way. Now when we're talking about distance, then we're talking about how far that object is moving. And we need to make sure that we have that in, in meters. But when we're talking about work, what we do is it work has kind of a, a weird unit. Um, we're taking force in newtons, multiplying that by the distance in meters. So when you take newtons and multiply it by meters, you get what's called a newton meter. Now, we, we kind of smash that together and give us something that is called a, a joule. Or, um, and just so you can kind of figure out what that, what that means, um, one joule of work is about how much work it would take to lift an apple one meter high, okay? Um, so just kind of kind of think of it that way. I've heard some people say that it's the same amount of work that it would take to lift a, a Big Mac up to your face. I don't know, uh, but, it, but that gives you an idea. Uh, so let's do some let's do some examples. So in this video right here, we've got a power lifter. This is during the 2012 Olympics, and let's say that this this lifter, um, he moves a 2,000 Newton bar, so that's about like 450 pounds. Um, he moves that bar 2.5 meters above the ground. How much work has he done? Well, let's try to figure that out. So in this case, we're gonna use that, that guess method to organize what we're doing here. So the first thing is our given. So if I look at this, I'm given that our force is 2,000 Newtons and that the distance is 2.5 meters. Well, if we're given that, what, what's our unknown? What are we trying to find? In this case, we are trying to figure out what the work is. So if I'm given the force, and I'm given the distance, and I'm trying to find work, then the equation that I'm gonna use is work equals force times distance. So now let's substitute what we know into our equation. So we know that force is equal to 2,000 Newtons. We know that the distance is 2.5 meters. And if I multiply those together, I get a work of 5,000 Newton meters. And remember, one Newton meter equals one joule. So I'm going to say that the work that that lifter did to raise that bar over his head was equal to 5,000 joules. All right, here's the second one. So in this second one, um, I, I get a little tricky here, okay? So for this one, we're gonna say that you're pulling an object 0.15 kilometers with 200 newtons of, of force. How much work did you do? Now, when you do this, what you have to make sure is that all of your uh, all of your numbers are in the proper units. So, if I look at this, okay, I I know that my force is 200 newtons, and that's okay. But the distance in the problem is 0.15 kilometers, and when I do these calculations, I need to make sure that the uh, the distance is done in meters. So what I have to do there is convert kilometers into into meters. So I know that there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. And uh, if I have 0.15 
kilometers, then that means I have 150 meters. Our unknown in this case is still work. And for my equation, I'm gonna say work equals force times distance. And now I'm gonna substitute in there. So I know that my force is 200 newtons. I know that the distance is 150 meters. And when I multiply those together, I get 30,000 newton meters. And once again, one newton meter equals one joule. So I'm gonna say that the work done is equal to 30,000 joules. All right, last one. I've been working on my push-ups. All right, and you guys know I need all the, all the help I can get. But let's say that during one of my push-ups, okay, I do 350 joules of work to get my body up off the ground. Now, if I push with a force of 500 newtons, can you figure out how long my arms are? Well, if, if I'm looking at that, I've got to think, okay, so if I'm doing a push-up, okay, if I'm doing a push-up, the distance that I move my body is going to be equal to how long my, how long my arms are. So if I go and try to solve this, in this case, I, I, once again, I have force, okay, it's 500 newtons, and I have work, which is 350 joules. My unknown this time is distance. So what I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna have to take that equation of work equals force times distance, do a little bit of algebra, um, and you should know how to do that. If you don't, you need to make sure that you come talk to me, but move that around to solve for distance, and in this case, I'm gonna have distance equaling work divided by force. So now that I've got the, the equation set up the way that I need, I can just go and substitute that and take uh, 350 joules, divide that by 500 newtons, and I know that distance is going to be equal to, uh, to meters, so in this case, I have a distance of 0.7 meters. All right, so that was really fast. If you need to, go back, re-watch things, let me know if you have any questions. But the expectation is that after watching this video, you understand that concept of work, you know that the equation for calculating work is work equals force times distance, you understand which units you need to use in order to do those calculations, and you can solve those different kinds of, of equations. So hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know.